till I get to the top. One thing my parents kind of raised me to do is to be a leader. Till I get to the top. Uh, my mindset has always been the same. I think every step of the process has kind of formed who I am. And so uh, there wasn't one particular thing that kind of just clicked. It just it kept clicking and clicking over time to the point where I'm comfortable with everything. Work hard till I get to the top. Gotta grind for what's mine and I guess they not. One thing I need to do to kind of bring that winning culture to New York is just be myself. It's all about what you're willing to do to win. I'm Jalen Brunson. I'm a professional basketball player. And this is Grind Mode. This offseason, I've worked on being more consistent. How can I be the most consistent player I could be night in and night out? Some things I've worked on this summer uh, have been finishing. Post-ups, I've been uh, extending my range, pulling up off the dribble, my pace, stopping and going. I'm very detail-oriented, so the details matter. I don't necessarily need motivational things to motivate me. If I'm not motivated to get better, then something's wrong with me. If I could describe Jalen, I would say definitely a workaholic. Smart, IQ is very high, and, and the sky's the limit. Oh, that's great defense! Yeah, I think trust is key when it comes to um, pretty much anything, but especially when I'm working on my craft and working on trying to be the best player I can be. I think someone I trust is the first step. And so I'm lucky enough to find Dave. It's been going well so far. The purpose of using the chair is uh, for the screen. So it's a screen and roll, pick and roll, a lot of options off pick and roll. Right now we're not talking about what options he has. This is all about scoring. So what he's doing is working on various, various moves, step offs, anything off of every move that we do. We always sit and talk about what type of goals we need for a year. A lot of team goals, because he's very team oriented, so a lot of team goals also. Watching my dad and his work ethic was confusing when I was a child, because I didn't know why he was pushing himself to those limits. This guy was running with the sweat jackets on, 100 degree weather in the summer, going from gym to gym to work out. When I think about my time as a kid watching my dad and how hard he worked to play nine seasons, eight unguaranteed contracts, getting cut multiple times, his work ethic then has just kind of showed me what I needed to do to get here. My mentality, my perseverance, everything that goes around mental toughness came from my father. I remember in high school on game days, my mom would pack little notes what opposing teams would say they were going to do when they're going to play us. She would do that, and then also would say the magic's in the work. You put the work in, you prepared yourself, and so uh, the magic's already there. I learned how to become myself through my parents. They made me become a leader. A leader needs to know when his ego is needed and when it's not. A leader needs to know who his audience is, and how he can talk to certain players or people, and how they can't talk to certain players or people. Once they know that, they're able to kind of put them in a category of how they can lead, how they can push them in a certain way. And so certain people can be led certain ways. One thing I need to do to kind of bring that winning culture to New York is just be myself. You have a lot of guys who work really hard. The guys with that mentality is something that is um, very unique. And so if you have the mentality, you want to do whatever it takes to win. Grind mode, to me, basically means you're shutting everything out. You're working on yourself. You could really care less about anything else that's going on around you. Whatever it takes to be the best player you can be, best person you can be. That's what I think grind mode is. Thanks for checking out my workout. Remember to like and share.